Hello guys, I'm back today with special thing. It's hunger for M4 M16's replicas, AG GBBRs. This package came from Gunfire. It was wrapped in the black foil with bubble wrap and all the tape that said Gunfire, but I had to open it up because there was some shipping information in my name. I tried to take it off, but I ripped the packaging, so I decided to remove it completely and leave with this box. I didn't open it yet, but today we're gonna find out what's inside. Okay, so the specifics before I start. It's M-Lock Hunger Black. Purpose, M4, M16 replicas. Material, it's metal. It's probably CNC machine aluminum, so it's very strong and good quality. The weight is around 675 grams. Um, length, the complete length of this product is 434 millimeters. Color black. Manufacture SHS. So, yeah. Okay, so let's unbox this bag. It came in this box. Okay. Let's use my knife. Okay. Hmm, by the way, my knife is bigger than the box. <laughs> okay. We got this opened. Ooh, yeah. It's heavy. It's aluminum, but it's heavy. Okay, so it came this bag. So let's open this. Let's see what is inside. Okay, so we have some mounting rigs. Mounting rings, sorry. It's out of the way. Um, you put them in between the receiver screw and the hand guard so you tied it up and you decide if you go too far with tidying you put another ring so if you tied it up you got closer and closer to correct spacing it's very cool i got i don't know seven or eight of them in this bag okay so get this out of the way and the hand guard itself it's amazing it's very heavy it's around 15 inches that's 17 but without this is 16 you can remove this front it completely it's completely hollow inside so you put your rifle barrel just slide it over so this front holds the barrel those screws here okay so to remove the front have this pin or screw it's, I don't know what it's called but you have to unscrew this part and you can just unscrew this whole section I will try this too in video oh, but I must unscrew this first anyway to remove this part you have to push the pin out yeah, like so pull it oh it's stiff I'll use knife yeah. gloves it's very hard push this like it's like a receiver pin so you have groove that holds into this section. There is a spring mount system that keeps this from falling. It's very nice. As you can see the groove inside. Yeah, and you have and you hear the click when you pull it. Okay, so let's oh, push this down. Small part push it like so and then you can remove this part 
in this part you before you start you show some those rings and you tie it up to your receiver when you stop you just put this on guard right so and you close and push the button it's simple as that it's very nice yeah the quality is amazing to be honest the finish on this is gorgeous as you can see you put this like so close it up and click and there you go you're ready to go it's amazing okay I'm gonna try unscrew this now I'm gonna cut here I need to bring own key to unscrew this pole screw you slide this open and unscrew it we'll be right back okay I'm back I got the Allen key as you can see you put your uh, key here unscrew this like so so it get loose push this up oh, I have to unscrew it a little bit more okay push this up and unscrew this whole section okay as you can see it's a pin system spring tension so push this new fold back this pin that holds into the pin and the receiver I mean the front and the guard yeah this inside part is held by three screws one is here one is on the top here you can see and one is on the other side there is no pins in the down part because this is where the holes the hole for the pin goes so yeah as you can see it's cool system this front part is also held by three allen key screws there is one there is another one and here is another one on the top you won't see any okay so to pull this back just push it like so Oops. push this spring tension system up and start turning it clockwise until you stop and you push it back and click in the place to secure it more you put the Allen key and start tightening it up like so and there you go the front part is put back so you can unscrew this part and put a suppressor on your GPBR or AEG so it's gonna look cool you have the mounting system here so you can mount any accessories you want like a flashlight or laser sight battery compartment and put the wires inside if you like so so that's gonna be it the part I wanna mention again those parts are stainless steel I at least this pin and this little pin here this is probably stainless steel I'm not 100% sure everything else oh this is steel stainless steel too but everything else is CNC aluminum a very strong and durable aluminum if you like this video, please click subscribe button, show your friends if they are interested in purchasing this. 
This cost around $73, if I'm correct. From what I see on the page, wait a minute. E no, 72 euros. So it's around $69, I don't know. So yeah, if you want to purchase this, it's not that hard to get. You can buy this from Gunfire. It's not sponsored video, I purchased this for my own money. So yeah, I just want to show you guys how cool this is. I'm gonna put this on my GBB rifle from GHK that will maybe arrive in some time in the future. So that's gonna be it. Thanks guys for watching and see ya!